Uh, happy Friday, everyone, and welcome to the Adam Friedland Show podcast. Uh, today we're talking high value men. We got a girl from uh, OnlyFans here. You want to introduce yourself? My name is Brace, one of the top prostitutes in America, <laughs> and it is a pleasure to be here. I've known Adam mostly through him paying to have sex with me, and so it's yeah. it's it's uh, frankly. I can see you at work like this. It's really something else. It's weird. It's weird, like running into someone, yeah, from work, basically. Like, because we don't really talk about what we do on the weekends. No. More of a physical thing. It's uh, completely. And Adam gives himself. To, I would kill myself. You know how some people have sex with their friends? Yeah. Like guys are like do an MMF threesome with their friends. Yeah, yeah, a devil's like, three way. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Insane to me. Oh, that's crazy. I mean, and you know, it's a generational thing. Uh, like, like all the guys I know in their twenty. Because for our, we're around the same age. Yeah, we're in our 30s so in our generation we're like two chicks at the same time two, yeah, that's two, the ultimate a threesome is two girls yes yes from the 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 neighboring sorority mm -hmm. in the fraternity house yeah, yeah. bathroom they caught you uh peeping through a hole yes. in the locker room they drag you in and then they see you and they're like uh they put their cocks through the oh they well it's no, a, they, put, uh, okay. they put one nipple yeah in. it's kind of a porky situation but Nowadays, like all my friends in, my, in their 20s, or they exclusively do the devil's three-way, which Crazy. is weird. I can think of few things that I would desire less than to hear like the, the grunt of an orgasm. It's not Adam the grunt. What, it, what, what really would nauseate me the most is the slapping, the balls slapping. <sighs> Like, or let's like, say we're doing the classic Eiffel Tower, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she's she's gi she's giving you top class dome. So right? I'm getting receiving you're oral getting, sex. You're this. getting oral sex. And then I'm, yes, okay. So, like, and now I'm behind uh, doing doggy fashion with the yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. The slapping of my testicles against her. But against we're just her face aim. to face. Yes, at this but, point. okay. But, but as we know, the rules are, and we would stipulate the rules beforehand that it's gay, right? If we make eye contact, yeah. right? So, every it's just guy averted. knows that, okay? It's just we, uh, we avert our eyes. It, this is heterosexual unless there is any type of eye contact between th the two of us. I just, I feel like I'd I be would... fine avoiding your eyes, but. Hearing the balls slapping yeah. in a doggy style situation would be revol truly revolting to me. I would just, I would feel like I'd have to immediately look at the hard penis of, of you. Yeah, of course. Because I'd be like, what am I? And how could you not do that? Exactly. Right. So at that point, the first thing, that's the first thing I'd be curious. If I, I found out that like. your dick was twice the size of mine it's, and then I proceeded. I would, <laughs> I would kill myself. I would kill myself. If, I, if, we, if you and I were having sex with some, uh -huh. some bimbo. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we're in the, we're in the penthouse. Really? Uh, she's smart, though. She's really she's, smart. She's smart. And but she's, she's funny. Like, and she's, she's funny. So, she's she's fucking so mad funny. funny. That's why she's doing this and with us. It's you know hilarious. What? She's a consultant and a project manager. Yeah, yeah. And project. All, she's got a real job. For the, yeah, yeah. For, for the, the government economy, or the, the or economy, the, yeah. The, yeah, the economy, some, Google. Some shit like but that. But I, I really the first thing that I would do is we're in this penthouse. <laughs> I would have to look at your fucking cock. We're in Miami. Oh my god! You see, <laughs> <I would laughs> <laughs> there's a balcony. That. You know those those Miami apartments? They all have those balconies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If your dick was twice the size, I would jump. Easy, easy. Or I'd push you. You'd push me. If your penis was larger than mine, I might attack you. If your dick was twice the size, I would dangle you by the ankle, Suge Knight saw. But it's almost gayer to, <laughs> if we have the same size cock, to feel good about that. If we have the same size cock, then it is, that is homosexual sex. Do you think sex. we do? Probably. Personality-wise, we probably do. Yeah. yeah that yeah. is a, a big judgment. Yeah, uh, like yeah. a, Not a judgment. Like That's a big fact. We act the way we do because of the size. Because it's 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 like pretty small, but the personality gets you can kind of make. I would form. not have any semblance of a personality if my penis was uh, like even a quarter inch bigger. Oh my god! If I could just if I was I would be one of those guys uh, who'd walk. I'd be a flasher. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I wouldn't. No, no, I wouldn't even be a flasher. I wouldn't get out of bed. No, I would just look at it no. all day long. I'd be like, oh my god, and I'd be like, God, I would country. genuinely, if I had a giant penis, I'd probably be gay. <laughs> Of course. Of course, right? I mean, of course. Is that maybe why people do that? I can only fuck women because I have a tiny dick. Because they don't know. If I was a, above 160 pounds, I would be a homosexual. Really? Because that's my weight class. Wait. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait. I can I'm only confused. go to combat with a woman. Oh, I see yeah. what you're saying. If here. we're thinking of this I in MMA context, here. when I was in Australia on tour with Nick and Stav, there was a. Uh, they went to go get food and I was like, I had jet lag. So I like went to, I was like, yeah. I, I'm just going to sleep. And then there was a fire alarm 
and I see these two like it's it's a country of bros. Yeah. We're in like Sydney. So I see these two bros like uh we're in like an apartment building, like a fucking pimp like loft pen mm-hmm. the people who booked our tour, we made zero money on the tour because they, they spent they kept, it all on that. They kind kept of putting shit. us in like Wall Street money never sleeps yeah. uh, uh apartments. Uh oh, by the way, Pete, let me know at fifteen, okay? And so there these there are these two just fucking like they had to be like six six two forty, just like the perfect male physique and like bros. Yeah, absolute bros. Just like dressed like fucking bros. Yeah, and they like obviously they had to leave their apartment because of a fire alarm. Yeah. I had to leave the apartment because of a fire alarm. I'm sitting outside. I'm like jet lagged as, sh- as shit, and I see these guys. I'm like, these guys are fucking like these guys are like rugby player bros. Yeah, and then I see one of them has this like tiny chihuahua, and he's like. And my God, how long is this going to last? And I was like, oh, they're, they're, oh, they're gay. They're gay. But then I realized kind of like immediately, I was like, the, w- first of all, the, the sex that those guys are having with each other, the, the athleticism, the tenacity. It's just a different, it's a, it's a completely different experience. Those you know guys I mean? are going for 11 hours a day and it, they're doing, they're doing like the most artistic yeah they're like doing <laughs> they're doing i mean they're, they're they're bending in shapes that you and i couldn't even comprehend it is it, there, there's an athleticism and a tenacity on display like they are they're in peak athletic form but like they wouldn't have the option of having sex with a 120 pound woman like no. they would kill they would kill her yeah right? yeah they would they would kill like literally they because of evolution they only have one option. That's the fuck. To be gay. It's to be gay with that's each why, other. That's like, why like warriors yeah. are often homosexual. Yeah, that's why Spartans yeah, are yeah, doing yeah, it. Yeah, that's yeah. why. <laughs> it's because they can't. They ca- they understand that like they're now in a, just a different class of like fucking. Actually, I got into an argument the other day with a friend. Right, it was like 10 p.m. on a Wednesday. Mm-hmm. And you're like, we should have this. And we're like, you know, we're ready, best friends. Why don't we? Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just do it. My friend's dad said that to him. He was like, uh, he's like, you ever fuck a guy? Like recently. Oh, interesting. And he's like, no. And his dad was like, what? And like he, he like, thought his son was gay, or is that he himself had? No, he's like, he's like, did you? And he's like, uh, yeah. Have you ever? No. Would you? No. But like, what circ? There is a circumstance in which you would. I don't think so. What if a guy? I'm was too really much nice of a coward. To I yeah. To be, to be honest, it's because here's the thing. I'm too scared. We would both probably we're both gay guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gay. We're gay guys. In, in a in a, in a Contest to see who's the most gay guy. We are on low Earth. value gay guy. I'm one of the most low value. <laughs> we are men low in, value in existence. <laughs> but yeah, but I feel like I would like if I I, I was having sex with a guy I'd be like this is gay. Yeah, be like this is fucking. But gay. I don't think gay guys think that. No, I think they're like this is sex. Yeah, they're like I'm fucking I'm I'm uh you know I'm like uh Maximus. They have so much fun, man. Well, I don't even know, dude. It's all guys, dude. It's it's, it's like all guys. When we uh, when, when, when heterosexual sex has an evolutionary aspect to it, yeah. right? Like, so even if you're wearing a condom or pulling out, your boner is trained to do that because of like to you want to. It, it is procreative. Of God. Yeah, yeah. Because God wants us to to have kids. Yeah. But like, it, it, like a, a, he, homosexual sex is the purest form of sex because it is pure. It's for sport. We're just rocking it. It is. It is the only. It is the purest rec. We're not actually having recreational sex with women. No, I'm certainly no. not. I'm not having. It's not recreational. It's never so. been fun. I'm crying. I yeah, say I love I'm you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I kiss. I say I I'm love you. I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah. I, no. But do you do that too? Where you apologize or kiss? I. Well, I bust and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm always like, <laughs> did you like him? <laughs> what did you think? I always, I so what I do is, is the How second, was it? The How second was it? I finish, I kind of curl up on the side of the bed like this and I say, well, what did you think? Yeah, yeah. I put my legs like this. What do you think? Yeah. I do this and I'm like, <laughs> I get it. You're fucking beautiful. Do you do the thing where you kiss a girl and you're like, what are we even doing? Yeah, yeah. Or in the morning, <laughs> you're like across from a girl and you're yeah. just like... <laughs> Sorry, she's asleep and you're like looking at her. She kind of like opens her eyes slowly and you're like, sorry. Do you do a thing where you kiss a girl and then you say, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills? No, I I kiss a girl and I'm like, I feel like you're taking crazy pills. Because oh, no. what do you see in a yeah, girl? Yeah, what like do you me? see in me? What do you see I'm in me? Disgusting. Have another drink, but what do you see in me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you see in have me? Have another pill. <laughs> yeah, have another, no. Have no, pills. well, this is crazy you mentioned this because yeah. prior to starting recording, 
OJ, the OJ news. It rocked our world. But it also, it got Adam talking about Cosby, and thank God this was not recorded. I don't want that on the record. No, but yeah. OJ, we talked to your father prior to this. We talked to my dad. My dad, my dad actually thought OJ Simpson was innocent during the trial yeah and, and it's not a joke he no. was like adamant that oj simpson was innocent he thought that the same way that mark Furman um planted evidence and tried to destroy a black man that that people yeah. had had done similar things to him um perhaps you know fa- you know i think that's what i think he projected he sees himself on oj simpson i think he projected you know this he ran 2,000 yards a season my dad um you know so it's also probably ran in his life. Yeah, he's run. Yeah, he <laughs> ran from Africa. <laughs> he once, ran once on foot. Yeah, yeah. Once, once things yeah, yeah. changed. Um, wait, <laughs> no, then come on. <laughs> <laughs> he ran as fast as he could. So I, I called my dad and was like, I was wondering if he still thought OJ was innocent. Yeah. And his excuse was like, Can we just let this go? Can society just yeah. just the let it go? Dead. Can stop pe- people stop talking about this? And I thought it was kind of like a actual. It was pretty noble of my dad. It, yeah. I, I, it was very. It was a sweet, tender conversation. He said, "I, I, I." He's a very sweet man. How, but however, at one point he did say it was probably the son, and then at the end he's like, "Well, when you or, asked if they're in heaven <laughs> together, he was like, well, he did kill her.'" <laughs> um, and that's the thing is like. Uh huh. I never understood this. If she's in heaven, which is paradise, yeah, then it's okay for him to have killed her because he hastened her journey to the forever thereafter. Right. Like that's what I don't understand. If heaven rocks, which uh-huh. it probably it has to, bro. Right. Yeah, yeah. If heaven's good, then what's wrong with killing your like saintly wife who goes to heaven well the worst i I don't know about that but i do know that if i was in love with a woman right if let's say i'm in love with my wife and then she tragically dies yeah and i live like for 30 years after her i'm not talking about oj yeah just but in it, general. it could have oj could have done it's, this. yeah it could have been. been if he let's was say innocent. she dies and i live another 30 years and yeah. she's the love of my life i can't remarry yeah right and then i get to heaven and I'm like, I'm going to see her again. And she's there. And she's just, she had a boyfriend I didn't know about. Oh, like And she's, she's also been, dead. Yeah. And they've been fucking. And now they can finally be together. Yeah. I guess there I is think no I guess guarantee I w- you can be with your wife in heaven. Yeah. Well, that's the truth. I guess I might. There. Could you kill your wife then? <laughs> well, I, <laughs> could, I, I, could you kill her again? <laughs> could you? Well, let's not say I killed her. Let's say she yeah. had cancer. But would it be okay? <laughs> what the fuck are you going to do in heaven? If she's with, she's fucking, already with yeah, someone. She's with, or she. It was not even an ex-boyfriend. She just met some guy. That's what I'm saying. She gets with Mozart. She's. <laughs> she starts dating Mozart. She's getting in plowed by Mozart. It's and, been 30 years, and she's like, "Oh hey." And you get in the pearly gates. The first thing. How you do you see, know she's been waiting for you? Mozart, Bach, and your wife in a devil's threesome. Well, that's kind of gay. I know, but well, I'm like, you're with these gay exactly, guys. Exactly, but it doesn't matter. She's like they're European. What do you do? At that I was point? laughing to myself the other day about you walk in on your girlfriend. She's she's blowing a guy, uh-huh. and you're you like, okay. you, no, listen. And then you're like, Stephanie, like, what the hell is going on? She's like, you don't. It's not what it looks like. And then you're like, it's exactly what it fucking looks like. She's like, listen, Adam, we need to talk. I was like, I think we do. And then I like sit her down, like, and the guy's sitting there. Yeah. And I'm like. I had no idea you were fucking gay this whole time. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Because she's sucking a, a, oh, a she's man's sucking penis. Di- sucking a di- it would actually, like, I'll say this. You've I've been, been lying to me this whole time about being gay? And then I have like a come to Jesus moment. Yeah. And I'm like, you know what? I've made a lot of fucked up homophobic comments around you. And you've probably been in pain. And I got to look at myself in the mirror. Yeah. And see what I've done. To lead you to this secret life. Why you? Why you're doing? Like this? I catch you sucking this gay guy's dick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the gayest guys I've ever seen yeah, in my yeah, entire yeah, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know. So you know what? If I love you, I gotta let you go. Yeah. Yeah. You live your lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You're gonna go to leather clubs. You're gonna be a da- a dom daddy. You're gonna daddy. get fat. The hair ones. You might be a bear. You, you might, might be, be an bear. otter. Yeah. But you know what? You need to go on your journey. Because you're fucking gay. You. <laughs> you're fucking gay away with you, my dear. It's okay. 
Um, I would, I would be, I've been, listen, I've been cheated on before. Uh, oh, me too, bro. Yeah, I, by, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway. Um, yeah. And, uh, sorry, I need a second. But I've never been able to walk in on somebody doing it. Oh, yeah. It's always just been like, well, you know how it goes. Where is she tonight? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Where is she tonight? But I, I've always wanted to walk in on somebody and be like, what's going on? Yeah. Freak out on them. Is it an illegal context if you commit a murder? Is that I think there's something about that. So would it be okay to kill a woman if you walked in on her committing an act of adultery? I think what needs to happen then is you just start fucking the guy. Actually, Brace, let me stop you right there because I want to talk about a product called Fume, uh-huh. okay? Um, you ever try to break a bad, bad habit? You were a drug addict. I was. Okay. I was an intravenous drug user for many years. You did heroin? Yes, okay. and methamphetamine. Okay, so you are a person that's familiar with trying to break a bad habit. Yes. And you were like a rent boy? You did like rent boy? Kind uh, of? I was more How to pl- own. Oh, to own. Yeah. What does that mean? I was a slave. Oh, okay. A slave to the drug? or a No, slave? no, I was a slave to a to an elderly gentleman and who lived in the Berkeley Hills for like four or five years. Okay, and yeah. what did you have to do for him? Just like butler stuff, but I had sex with him sometimes. Was it like, did you have to like wear like a bikini while you were... No, what? he didn't find me attractive. It was just kind of a slave situation. So I just, I wore like regular clothes. You I didn't have to like feather like dust. No, I, I did have to do that, but it wasn't like a sex thing. It was really just genuinely I was dusting. But I wore like a potato sack. <laughs> and like, uh, and like I did Oh, wear kind of like, like, uh, like the house elf in Harry Potter. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And yeah. I did wear like sheer tights and stuff uh-huh. like that and pumps. Obviously. Did you sing spirituals while you were in, in slavery? I thought it well, I tried to at first. Of course, he was a he was a professor of sociology at UC Berkeley. Okay. And so he was like, mm, I, I like that. And he liked that. I knew a lot of the folkways stuff, etc. Uh-huh. But he said that if some of his students overheard me it doing pro- that, it would appropriate. Get the yeah, yeah. OK. Um, you, you felt in the in the past, like when you're trying to break the bad habit that you're Climbing Everest in flip-flops. I, that was almost exactly what okay. it felt like. Yeah, yeah, and we've been there too. Um, yeah. But there's a breath of fresh air, and that is Fume. So let me give this to you. Oh, my God. Why, you want to open this up? So Fume takes your habit and makes uh, simply makes it better, healthier, and a whole lot more enjoyable. Fume is innovative, award-winning, flavored air device that does just that. Instead of vapor... Fume uses flavored air. Instead of electronics, fume is completely natural. And instead of harmful chemicals, fume uses delicious flavors. You get it. Instead of bad, fume is good. It's a habit you're free to enjoy. It makes replacing your bad habits easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting. So, yeah, actually, you want to take that? What? Put it, put it, uh, the, put that core in, in your fume. This is a everything is all natural, so there's no uh, there's no uh, uh, deadly chemicals. It, it's it's just flavored air. So you put it in, okay. And these are heavy duty. But see, when you do that twist, that's like a nice fidget. It is. Uh, nothing. No, yeah, it's flavored air. Nothing's happening. It's flavored air. It's flavored air. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, there's. Is it supposed to be like? You can't use a, a word that starts with S. No, I know that, but is okay. it supposed to? Is it like electronic, or is it just purely? No, it's it's a completely analog thing. It uses great materials. Look at that wood. Okay, um, the taste. Think of a refreshing herbal tea. If vapor um, was compared to sticky soda, fume flavors would compare to herbal tea. Not as sweet, with a lot and a lot more natural. Okay, the first time I tried it, I thought it was more flavorful. Then I w- was expecting it. It felt very fresh, doesn't it? Is there supposed to be like a vapor that comes out? No, no. Sorry. No, there is not. You can use that word. Um, there is no vapor. It's just a. It's this is a natural so core. I'm but using this right. You're right now? using it right, but you can adjust the airflow in the bottom by twisting it. So you see, it's like it's oh. like a yeah. You can choke it down, get a little bit of resistance there. Um, it's weighted. It's perfectly balanced. It's extremely fun to fidget with, and look how beautiful the real wood and shape is. You feel cool using it. but Plus, Fume just released a magnetic stand for your Fume, so there's no more losing it around the house. It's built with fidgeting in mind, and you can spin your Fume around on it. Start your year off right, guys. Here's the call to action. The good habit by trying by going to Fume, and uh, the, the website, folks, is try Fume. T-R-Y-F-U-M dot com slash T-A-F-S, and you get your journey pack 10% off. 
Fume is giving listeners of this show 10% off when you use my code TAFS to help make the good habit that much easier. Okay, guys. Thanks a lot. Fume. Brace, you love it? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. Great. I, it's I, really yeah, good. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's really good. I really like it. Um, I'm just saving it for later. What were we talking about? Okay. All the pods. So, uh, okay, so I was at my friend's house 10 p.m. on a Wednesday, right? Respect. And then I had a question. Late night. One of us, one of us was like, "How many, how many gay men do you think in New York City at that moment were engaged in in sex with one another?" My friend, he opened by saying 300. And then he 300 so okay. small. And then he qualified by saying 300 uh sex sessions. So like right? 900 guys. So it could, it could be 900 could anywhere between 6 and 900 guys, right? Um you could have a train running situation uh and of course this is also qualified by like this is not this is this is anal sex, okay? Yeah. So which is obviously takes a lot more preparation, takes like a a lot more you know like the like you, uh, oral sex. I, from what I understand from gay friends of mine, oral sex is far more prevalent than anal sex because of the, the need for preparation. Okay, so I said it had to have been over two thousand at least. Man. How many people live in New York? Okay, so we have eight million people that live in New York, right? So that makes four million men, right? So then we started trying to do the math, and this is where it got interesting. Okay, if you break down the four hundred four uh four million men of the population in New York City, what percentage do you think are gay men? 10%? I would guess 10%. 10%? Right. Okay, and that is out gay men. Those are yeah. those are men on, on the We're down not talking low. about like Chinese guys. <laughs> yes, we're I not talking really about Chinese guys. We're means. not talking about a heterosexual Chinese yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, then yeah. that opens the next question, which is like, what happens about men that are not, that are still in the closet or AKA on the down low. Because if you're on the down low, my assumption is that the one part of uh, being gay that you're engaging in is the sex aspect. Yeah, of yeah, it, yeah. Right? You're not like a There's not the cultural aspect of yeah. it. Yeah. You don't like work still, at like a like a like a furniture store. You're still well, you're still like li- living your lie. Yeah. But like uh when you know, when you're in the shadows, yeah. you're you then then you get down to business, right? But so then you have to assume, okay, so what are the numbers? So if there's 8 million and 10% of, or, or 4 million, mm-hmm. 10% of that is 400,000 yeah. gay men in New York City. And right? this is at 10 p.m. on a Wednesday 10 night? 10 p.m. on a Wednesday, which then the next qualifier is that it has to be peak sex hours. 10, I would say, yeah, it would be pretty good 10 p.m. is peak sex hours, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, the, the, you know, the assumption is that j- these gentlemen, you know, they don't have to... They don't have kids, you know. They're really like open. Yeah. Uh, many of them don't. Most of them don't have kids. They're really open to engage in in sex hours. Yeah. Especially on a Wednesday. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but then you have to uh, assume that it's it's current. So, like, what are peak sex hours? You you have to say anywhere from eight p.m. p.m. to two a.m. I would well, say. Well, unless you get into like PMP stuff, I would say. Okay, so what is that? That's chem sex, like when you do methamphetamine and have sex for a long amount of time. So is that is that true? Because I it's yeah, not true. that where your, your penis gets small like a like mine a, does. Okay, I'll say this: my penis when I did meth, my penis would shrink, would shrink. Yeah, we would become. I'm assuming that when smaller. you're on when you're on stimulants, yeah. your your penis like but some your people, blood flow. But then diminishes. there's some people that like jack off for like two days or whatever. I would never even occur to me. Would the, the thought wouldn't come to my mind to jack off when I was on right. meth? Right, like like kind of a a, a sting style. Like what do you the, mean? Uh, the singer Sting. Sting Sting would do meth and jack off. Well, I believe he was into like ta- uh, tantra, like oh, delaying yeah, orgasm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know if that's yeah. a gay style. But. You're kind of you kind of do tantric shit, not like sex, but like you do like you meditate. Like I see you. Yeah, but I don't like talking. You don't talk. Okay, yeah, yeah. Don't I kind of like to separate yeah, my like personal life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Understand. I would say so. You're you're you're. I would say three hundred is a low estimation. So three hundred sounds low. But you have to assume that, like, okay, let's. What is sex? I mean, like, I don't know. Those are twenty-minute increments. We could just say of sex. Yeah. So we'll say like this is in the the ten p.m. to ten twenty yeah. p.m. window, right? And like, let's say all four, like, not all four hundred thousand are engaged in nightly sex. Not all four hundred thousand. No. Right. So it has to be much less than that. So like, even if we account for 
ten percent of gay men in New York City. That's still forty thousand men are having sex. Yeah. That night, right? Yeah. So I would say in a twenty minute period, it would have to be like what? Anywhere from twenty five hundred to three thousand. Yes, I, that sounds right to me. Maybe, maybe if it's like summer more, <laughs> you know, if it's nice out. If it's like nice out. But you know, if it's cold, then it's. But good. then you need, yeah, you yeah, need yeah. someone to, to. You need for. But then, then maybe you don't want to take the cab. But it's it did. Outside. Like I was more convinced the more my friend told me that he thinks he, that he thought it was a lower number than I was assuming. Really? Yeah. I'm going to say I'm still going with high, but 300 couplings makes sense, I guess. But no, that doesn't make sense. I would say I would say yeah, at, that that. Moment, at that moment, at that moment, at that yeah. very second. Yeah, that's tough to say because we're just kind of Manhattan, right? No, I would say let's let's account for the five boroughs. So it's 16 million people, right? No, that's 12 eight. Million, it's eight, eight million. million people? Yeah. Staten Island is, of course, one of the gayest places. What, uh, yeah, absolutely. They, yeah, I like, mean, that's like the Castro district of New York City. Um, I'm going to say higher. I'm going to say a thousand then if we're being very conservative. Yeah. At 10, 20. There's a, eight million people is a lot of people, dude. There's a lot of people. A lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, that, if you're a gay guy, can you write into the show right now or in the show's comments? Can you just like share like there has to be a way or ask chat GPT. That's Can you actually, ask, ask yeah, ChatGPT right now? Well, I don't know if it'll let me ask sex questions. Just ask how many gay guys there are in New York City. Pete, you're gay? How many gay guys do you think are in New York City? He says half he a says million. He says half a million. I, I, that's I believe so that. many gay guys. I would guys. say that, that New York probably is a higher percent than other people, than other places. Yes, for sure. There's a huge gay population. How Do you think 10 p.m. is a good time to have sex? He says one of his favorite times. It's one of his favorite times. I like... There has to be a way to like actually... To run the numbers on this. Yeah. Well, I don't know if there there is. My phone is not working. Also, it's Wednesday. I mean, hump day. Hump day. That is (laughs) true. (laughs) All was there. (laughs) All was at the weekend. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, I could see that. I could see that being the case. This is also like a. This is like a world that we're like completely ignorant. To, I'm not right? completely ignorant. Well, you were that. That was more of a power thing, right? That was a power. That thing was like a, you're that just a trying to get your drugs. Thing. This um, guy just needs his house clean. <laughs> exactly. He really doesn't. He doesn't really. <laughs> I was. A, he just. I there was. I've never. I've never. There's. There's. I think I just. There's an appeal. app. There's a gay guy app to know how many guys want to have sex like Sniffies. within. No, no, Grinder. Within no. like a Grinder's out. Look at well, I don't know if it's out, but Sniffies is the one now. What is Sniffies? That sounds like a what, for It's not drugs. working. Unable to connect. I might have violated the terms of service. Sniffies is a uh, it's like a map, and it's just cocks basically or abs, and it's like it's like a it's like an interactive map, uh-huh. and like there's a <laughs> cock here, and you go. When I was in San Francisco uh, a few days ago, my friend showed me the app, and he was like, "Yeah, check it out." And uh, there was one guy that was like down in the marina. It's like, all right, 9 p.m. or something like that, like 7 p.m. this Sunday, we're doing a cum dump in this hotel. And I'm just, it's my first cum dump, and I just need everyone to come dump their cum on me. Yeah. Uh, and so if we're accounting for cum dump situations, that skews the numbers a little bit. Right. Uh, th- then you would have to qualify it as just the penis is in a butt. Well, what do you think sex is, Adam? Well, yeah, that, this is like, these are the conditions that we're like, yes, I think like, I asked my girlfriend this, right? What she thinks sex is? And she's a gay man. And she probably uh, doesn't think very highly She said sex. that they are having way less uh, butt sex than blowjobs because butt sex requires like, you can't have like yogurt for two days or something. Really? Yeah, you can't eat dairy. Oh, well, we would be. You have to have your shit cl- like. You got to have a rockin'. You have to have a certain Rock and diet. Sphincter. You have to like prepare. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. That makes sense to me, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Because otherwise, it's like the, the, you know, it's a comedy of errors. I mean, yeah, there's yeah. just you get <laughs> shit everywhere. Yeah, yeah. But then there have to be certain guys that just want the they crap. want the dump. That just want they the, want the dump. They want the dump. <laughs> they want the dump. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I guess that's true. There's probably a lot. I would, I would, I would qualify a blowjob as a sexual act, if not right, sex right. itself. What we're saying is we're we're gonna limit it just to, to just to butt sex. Butt sex. So if you're doing that, then the 300 or the 600 number 
that becomes more realistic. If you're saying at that very moment, at that very second, but I think time, it still has to be over a thousand. I think it has to be at least a thousand. Yeah, Equinox is literally well. That but that's a lot of blowjobs, right? I don't know. I've never been. I've there. never been to Equinox. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, it's just you just go there. For you can s- have sex with Andy from Bravo. You could have sex with uh, yeah Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper. Yeah. Who else is there? It was it's another crazy. Guy There's that, a guy that has to clean that up. Yeah. Like yeah, a guy, yeah. he was like brought across the border by a coyote. Yeah, like his job. <laughs> yeah, is yeah. To, he's from the high, well, he's from Francisco, high Lasco. In, in San Francisco, there used to be this place called the Lusty Lady. It was like a peep show, but people would have sex in the booths. Uh, and the guy that cleaned it up was the singer of, he was an older gay gentleman, the singer of this band, The Dicks, a fantastic band. Uh, but he sort of liked to clean it up. Yeah. That was like, he was kind of liked that. Oh, he did it as like that's his thing. And he's like, I'm rocking with this. Yeah. Have you ever been to a peep show? I've been to a sex movie theater once in in Montreal. How was that? It was. I was a little bit because I was with a cut. I was with a girl. I was a little bit. You were with a cut, like a couple. A cu- I was gonna say with a couple, but I was just I was in a couple. Yeah. Um. Then they sent us upstairs, and there was like basically a sofa, and then sh- she kind of wanted to do it. But I was like sexually, yeah, yeah. But I was like a little bit like worried about my bum, my bum touching the sofa. Yeah, I get. But then that. I kind of just did it, and it was like a heterosexual. It was this place, cinema, a lot more. It was a straight movie. Uh huh. And then I kind of it was over, and then I looked over the balcony, and it was all like like ninety year old gay men yes. because it was like they didn't fi- they hadn't figured out how to use the computer that you gotcha. can see so they have to do old, old so, and then i kind of just watched it for like uh for a couple minutes the and it was amazing down. no i watched like what those guys the, the what were they doing so there were certain guys that there were two uh like uh like uh what do you call it um i there were two fucking aisles aisles <laughs> why am i retired i want to say hallways all right uh, there were there were two aisles and so there's there's certain guys that just uh, walk down the aisle just jerking. Oh, right? like... And then they do... They dart... Their eyes dart to be like... Like guards want, in a video game. Do you want... Do you want... Yeah, kind of like... Yeah, a, yeah, yeah like the, when you have to sneak around. <laughs> kind of like a... Uh, yeah, like Rainbow Six. Yeah, kind Tenchu. Of, yeah, yeah. Kind of a sneak mission. Yeah. yeah. And then if... It, I guess if, if anyone like says like, oh, I, nice stuff, then they'll go and join someone that's sitting alone. And, but are they jacking? In the chairs. And yeah, they're standing. They're walking down the aisle no, jacking. No, the guys in the aisles jacking. Because I was... The guys in the aisles are jacking. The guards. Yeah, no, yeah. but I mean, are the... Excuse me. Are the guys in the seats engaged in masturbation? Um, I... I think there were solos, and I think some of them were engaging in masturbation. But I think it's a matter of just if if you, if you maintain eye contact, uh, then then they're so like, they let's let's go. And then, but the the most amazing thing I saw were these three like I mean they were like Grandpa Simpson. There were the three gentlemen in a sitting uh, one two three, <laughs> and then there was a gentleman the the uh, the alpha perhaps yeah. uh, who's in the middle, and he was uh, getting head from the other. I mean these men. They landed on Omaha Beach. This is the greatest yeah, generation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> Canada, these I think guys they had a different beach. Canada, they went to... There was like another... There was other beaches Newfoundland. There. No, no, they landed at D-Day, but I don't think it was at they Omaha. Were ba- they were under Monty. Yeah, they were under... They were under yeah, they were, yeah, they were under Palo. Monty. They weren't Eisenhower. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Monty was a cocksucker. No, Monty saved our ass a little bit on D-Day. No? Did he? I think he did. I don't know much I about I think D-Day. we fucked up a little bit D-Day. Anyway, he's getting head. This guy, the greatest, you know... This greatest guy, generation. Greatest generation. Saved Europe from the Nazis, Mickey so I Mantle. just I have nothing but Mickey Mantle, uh, Marilyn Monroe on the Great. I oh, mean, God. these guys, nothing, nothing but respect. You know, Hot Rods, yeah. uh, Lovers Lane, nothing but respect for these guys. Okay, yeah. you know, rock and roll, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, rock. You know, but these consider this phenomenal guys. Jim Crow, Jim Crow, but they kind of they're Canadian. It fizzled out. It fizzled. <laughs> it fizzled. It fizzled out. Yeah. You know, no, these are land acknowledgement. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he's getting a uh, head from uh, the guy on his left, and then the other gentleman was just uh, romantically kissing his neck, the guy on his right, and then he was uh, he was like uh, jerking the guy on his right, and I couldn't. So he's getting one yeah, like yeah. this, and then one, one like this, and and then, a, and then a kissing, and then like I would be, I would be. I think it was the most beautiful. 
I think expression too, of love that I've ever I've I'm ever too seen. Too neurodivergent for that, and I think the o- sensory overload would make me have a panic attack. Yeah, yeah, I know it really would would uh, trigger your neurodivergence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 it's just something you never expect to see in your life. And yeah, uh, you had I straight just, sex in a gay movie theater. But it was a it was a straight. But movie. that doesn't it doesn't that's, that's I, we I didn't see it happening until I'd had the straight sex. But yeah, it was like uh uh, it was like I, I you know you, I couldn't take my eyes off yeah, those three I guys. Yeah, I'm entranced. Yeah, old was, people engage in. Sex it was a is real crazy. life lemon party. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it yeah, was. That's yeah. what it was. And I was like, you know, I thought it was probably the three guys from Lemon Party. <laughs> <laughs> that we're just still doing it. <laughs> it was probably the three guys. Those guys should have cameos. They should. They should be like happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. Like they should recreate it and then like stop and give you a happy Ian birthday. Ian Fight your birthday, your friends whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, I gotta hit my fume. Yeah, you gotta rip some fume after that. After that hot story. How's it taste? It's good for you. Or it's not it's not you can't say it's good for you it's and that's what it says and then don't I will, uh, but we're not doing that. the ad read anymore and i'll fucking say it. it's good for you because <sighs> you know what it is it's fucking air we'll cut that air is so good for you yeah yeah i do want to know an answer to how many like if there's a way to estimate how many g- gay guys are having sex at any given moment in yeah. new york city there is probably some guy like an intrepid redditor you Just know there was a there was a guy on reddit recently that did like I don't know why, but he did a ranking of every single NBA player's penis. Every single wait, how do they know? He studied pictures of like of the dick print in in basketball shorts. Yeah. Who's got the who's got the most rocking thing? I don't know. I mean like it's crazy like to run the numbers. Hold on, is your penis supposed to be visible from your clothing? I think it can, like, especially in an athletic short, you can get some dick print. I mean, it's crazy. To I even, get like, nothing. How I the could wear fuck tights. with this guy? Let me see. Concave is what I'm working with here. Yeah, I would say that I'm wearing compression shorts. I could, yeah, exactly. I could wear, I could wear, oh, yeah, 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 I would say that. But, I mean, I could wear Lululemon and you'd see so, nothing. So, yeah, this guy ranked the meat. Of every single NBA player and then posted it to R slash NBA. It's crazy like the dedication that this took. Let me see. I got do well, I have to find I have to find the actual Yeah, people did a So this is Guy Reddit who reportedly has spent thousands of man hours compiling a list of every single NBA player ranked by well, by their size. I'm not talking height. This guy analyzed a combination of real-time game footage, stills, and images. I don't really know what to think, but let's, let's look at the results, I guess. Starting at the bottom of the list with the uh, <laughs> smallest is poor, poor Ty Ty Washington. That's now, mean. he's a two-way guy with the Bucks. So I'm going to be honest, there's a lot guy. of G League guys on here. I don't know why he is, but this may be the most ultimate stray. Let me see. Other names rounding out the bottom here. A shocker is Nas Reed all the way to the bottom. Nas Reed. Wow. That's the a good goat. Place to be. The goat. Two seventy. White guy. He's not white. What race is he? He's bright skinned. Tyrese Halliburton, interesting. Interesting. I was just looking at the Tyrese Halliburton video of him giving a little quote about yeah, gambling. Yeah. He has he has some of the worst en- fashion outside of the. He's NBA. bad. He he dresses like a like he wears those like Canadian Mountie hats and People like. In, I, I gotta say, they dress like Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band, like on the way to play players. basketball. Yeah, it's. Not I would just, just wear like sweatpants. Yeah, it's all of them, like all NBA. They, they like really. Too. It's a big deal now to be like a fashion yeah plate they do the little walk-ups to the fucking stadiums i mean but it is insane that this guy like ran those numbers i have a hard time respecting that i mean i i have no respect yeah it's difficult i'm gonna look at the list 
Oh, the penis thing I have a good time. That's easy for me to respect. But the like dressing up to go to work seems difficult for me to respect. Oh, my God. It's pathetic. But they, it's also like they commit to crazy. What's going on? I'm just sitting like this. I don't oh, know. That's fine. I don't like that we're doing. We talked about guys' penises tonight. We talked about, oh, that I'm doing this? I mean, you're sitting in a very sexual way. Do you think, sometimes it's crazy. Uh, so, Adam and I live very near each other. Yeah. And that has given Adam the impression that he deserves access to me sometimes at hours where that would be inappropriate. And so, like, I go to bed usually at night. Uh, do you not want me to talk about this? I go no, to bed go at like ahead, 9 ahead. p.m. every night yeah, so I get ahead. up and go to CrossFit in the morning. They love this, like, behind the curtain kind of, like... Well, that's a... Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. That's a good way to put it. We, ha- we I, hang out. I wake I wake up sometimes. We live a block a. away from each other just, just for it's context. True. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead. And I have about 50, 50 texts, eight or nine missed calls from Adam. Yeah. 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. Just being like, can I come over and talk? Mm-hmm. Can I stay on your couch? Like, it's cold as fuck out. Like, I'm in a fight with, with my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Like, I just need someone just to a guy. hang out with. I just need a gu- another guy. I need guy. a guy. Yeah. And it, and it kills me because it's, you know, I think you and I have this, long, like, professional relationship. That kind of stuff is inappropriate because I think that if you and I were together like that, like, I mean, together, together, like, if we actually, like, made it work, we tried mm-hmm. to, like, give it a shot. Yeah. You know, I, I think that would be really powerful. Yeah, yeah. But I think that people, I don't think that it would be, well, I don't think it would be good for us. I didn't finish the story of what my friend's oh, dad yeah, yeah, told him yeah. recently, but he said that him and his best friend were like, well, we are best friends. Like, what What if we just, what if we just have sex with each other? Yeah. And then like, then we could just be best friends and also, and then they did it and they were like, yeah like i'm not feeling it i'm not like yeah i didn't really feel it, like having that 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 gay sex that we had do they, do they each gotta they, fuck each other's asses i didn't ask i mean like yeah. i'm sure i i'm not sure if my, I, yeah. my friend asked his dad that like if he was the top the bottom the power you know like or the, the I, I don't know if my friend asked his dad about positions but apparently the notion i have is like that would ruin my friendship instantly right i could probably fuck like let's say like that just happens and then I'm like I'd be like bro I don't want to fucking see you you know yeah like uh, give it a couple weeks man they went back to never they just went back to being normal best friends interesting yeah it's kind of inspiring I've ever like felt if my dad told me that story as a 15 year old it would have destroyed me yeah but I think as an adult man I'd be like you know what like I respect 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 yeah Respect. I do respect that yeah whatever I guess I've never felt that much love for a friend like not like I want to fuck them. No, like I barely even want to see them. Oh my god! Yeah, y- you know what I mean. Especially like, if they call you in the middle of the night. And they call me in the middle. Of the night. You did. You do. Well, you don't they call just me need in the middle. Talk. Like, Adam, what Adam does do is that Adam does every night when you have nothing to do. I know that you do this. You just call every one of your friends, not to hang out. You like to talk on the phone. I like talking on the phone. It's. I find it endearing. I like a phone conversation. I don't like texting. I don't like texting either, but I don't like a phone conversation either. No, so, no, a phone conversation, you could, you could say funny things and stuff. That is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like you, you're a caller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you'll... And you could act like you thought it was going to be someone else. And you'd be like... And you could just... And you could, you'll could pick up and I'll just be like, beep. Yeah, good. And then I'll be like, oh, Brace, I didn't know it was you. Yeah, I, thought it was, yeah. I thought it was my black friend. But <laughs> like sometimes, sometimes I will... Classic I will, mistake. I will, I will meet up with somebody and they'll be like, did Adam just call you? And I'm like, Adam just no. called me too. People talk about me. We don't talk about you like that. It's just... They're like, it's pathetic. No, no they're not saying it's pathetic, Adam. Listen, I'm. this is... I call you like when I'm walking the dog past your house. I, I say listen, you I like it when you call, I'm not saying you shouldn't call me. I like it when you call me. It makes me feel it makes after October seventh, you've given me a lot of strength. Yeah, I wanted I just want I, I hit brace up. I said I'm feeling Schindler. Do you want to watch Schindler? We did it. Yeah, we did. We did go over yeah. and then Will came over as well. Yeah, it ruined that it. That was like a yeah, and then we just watched ish. dirty work. We did watch dirty work. It was so so sick. <laughs> it was very we did watch dirty work on October seventh. We did 7th. watch dirty yeah. 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 Well, after October 7th. No, we I, wanted to get together and watch Schindler's List after October 7th. And then we got together and, and I was like, oh, I don't want to. Yeah. It's too much. It's you know who recently did? Nick. Nick watched it? Yeah. To get some ideas. And he said it's funny. Schindler's List is funny? He said it was funny. Which character? 
Oscar Schindler. So funny. Yeah, yeah. He said that he he dressed like a like a pimp when he had to go to the concentration camp to get his to get his Jews back. His he Jew like slaves. He went dressing dressed like a pimp. He and, did. He and wears I was like, like furs and stuff. I was like, damn, I'm doing a rewatch. Yeah, I hadn't yeah. seen that in a while. Maybe I will watch that. It sounds pretty funny, actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's better. Funny. It's listen, Oscar Schindler. I like how he's much larger than all of us in the movie. Uh huh. Yeah. Like all the little Jews are like regular size. Yeah. yeah. Schindler's a giant. Yeah, yeah. He's like, you kind of got a Schindler situation with the uh, with Pete here. Yeah, yeah. Don't say, don't say how tall he is. It is really embarrassing for me. Why? How tall are you? Me? Yeah. Five foot two. You tower over me, bro. Mm-hmm. It sucks. Hanging. I feel like a dwarf next to you. Yeah, I know. I still treat you the same though. But you don't. I see how you treat tall guys. I say, that, I call you little feller. I know, and it sucks. Yeah. And you're always like, let's, because I obviously we're I both know, it's like less hoop. Yeah. yeah, that's so the yeah. thing. Is that you always try to get me to play basketball. Yeah, but I'm just trying to get the meat size. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know that guy Isaiah Hartenstein, who you're like he, that guy's white. He's not white. His it, his dad's black, but he looks like a white guy. And then he recently gave an interview where, he, where they were like, "So your dad's black?" And he goes, "Yeah." So like basically, what I am is like a lot of people light skinned. I'm bright skinned. Interesting. And I was like, "That's a really cool that's thing." That's what to say. Sean King should say. Yeah, that he's bright skinned. That he's bright skinned. Talcum X. He's so you. That's is he insane. still? You is he need, still I doing need his to thing? Buy the. How much would you sell me your show for? This show? How much would you sell me a controlling chair in the Adam? Well, Freeman Nick's show not for? here, so I, I would have to ask him. But I think maybe two hundred dollars. Two hundred. Two. You were gonna say two hundred thousand? I would buy the Adam Friedland show for two hundred thousand dollars. What would you do Complete with it? Complete creative control. Sean King, you guys are interviewing like like cool guys or whatever yeah we should you need to with just cool have guys. fucking freaks on here yeah yeah you need to have you'd had that a little bit at the beginning you had that little dwarf gentleman i wouldn't say he's a freak i'd say he's a, that's a a that is a he's not watching this yeah but i just I, you don't want to talk shit on past guests i get that no i'm not talking shit i just didn't i just didn't clock him as a freak i just thought <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's normal to you i just uh, thought you need to have just, only freak guests yeah. on this show yeah and sean king is a freak yeah, yeah. I mean, his commitment to the bit is, is crazy. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want Dola's all really bad. I mean, we can, but like you. How could, do I have get you tried her? to get her? I don't know. How you I, haven't even tried. She has she an OnlyFans. Uncertainly, and the OnlyFans, she has a messaging. Have thing. Have you seen the leaks? I've seen the leaks. Yeah. She look good. I mean, I would be honest with you. She doesn't look good. No, she doesn't. She's not. She doesn't look good in the in the leaks. But. That doesn't matter. She yeah. looks good. She and she because she put in the fucking work. We she all know did. this. Dolezal, the, the warmest term. We like Dolezal. Yeah, yeah. We everyone likes Dolezal. But you should have like Dolezal DJ Academics on here. She I would have, love that. Yeah, be fucking good. Faze Banks. I don't think Faze would come on. Why not? Faze, you already kind of had Chet Hanks as kind of a Faze Banks. No, no, no. Chet is Chet is Chet one is of cool. The coolest, but guys he's ever. like Faze wants to be Chet. Yeah, yeah. Adam twenty two. Yeah, Adam twenty. He, I would not. He's a guy who's interested in in some meat as well. Well, if he, he let me run train on his girl, I would. I would let Adam. That's 22 the thing, on. dude. If you were my slave, Adam, I would make you a star. I mean, that's the what money, you should be doing. If, you're here in New York. If the and you're Patreon, like, if the Patreon recovered, I would let. I would. Be, what I is? Would is we going down? Is the Patreon going down? Oh, precipitously. I think every we're, month it's going down. I think we're at like twelve thousand dollars a month right now. This, you, you can't have that. No, no, it's not good. Here's and how Nick I'm is fix not your handling career. it well. I mean, Nick, he's money first, right? Obviously, he doesn't. He's not a very principled guy. No, no, yeah. I mean, I would let you do it. I would let you. I would let you. Okay. First thing we do, we How get do we you fix on this? economy middle seat flight to LA, and I need you on that fucking Adam Twenty Two porno podcast where you fuck his wife. And I want. Do I, I fuck his wife? And I talk to him right after. I think you talked to him before. I've never seen. I got it, ball sweat. I got ball sweat. I got pussy juice on my face. And I want an honest review for her. I can. Her. I can get on his show. He's hit me up plenty. Of I life. know you can get yeah. on his show. Yeah. I need you to fuck his wife. That's I'm getting on his show is okay, fine. Does He's got it, plenty of freaks on. Does it? She, it has to be broadcast though. Yeah, it has to be broadcast, Adam. Do you want to be famous and rich? Let me ask you this. I don't know about doing the sex. And do you? I'm not asking if you I want to want do sex. I want more than anything to be famous. You want more than anything to be yes. famous and rich. More people know this about me. I really want to be famous. You want to be famous. Yeah. 
That's the name of the show. And we, yet, what you do in practice is you sit here in your little studio yeah. and have have various Terrible. indie rock musicians come in. You it's ask not them. Cool. You know, we it's need you in famous. L.A. fucking wives. Yeah. Other thing that we need to do is we need we need a kind of bagel boss type incident from you. I want you to assault somebody at a restaurant. Yeah. A viral video. Think about this. What Dasha, if I tore da- down? Yeah. Dasha got kind of famous off that. Like uh, she's like Alex Jones, Alex thing. Jones yeah, thing. Yeah. I need you to, in that kind of situation. What if I? What if I tore down a a missing poster for the the hostages? Yeah. For yeah, Israel. Yeah. yeah. Or you should start putting up missing posters. Uh, missing posters. Yeah. Put some up. Put some up. Yeah. But with your face on them. That's what I'm saying. Is you have a very mm-hmm. And that piss active, everyone off. Yeah, that piss everybody off. Yeah, yeah. You have an active Which is the best troll. And you gotta racist get everyone fan mad. base. You gotta get everyone mad. If you can't please everybody, don't please anybody. Yeah, get That's everyone what I mad. Everybody mad. That is kind of like the consistent through line in my life is offending everyone. Everybody. Yeah. He's the rudest man. You go out to a restaurant with him. I'm, he's yeah. slapping asses. He's Repulsive there. personality. Repulsive yeah. personality. But you love him. Yeah, yeah. But, here's, but I need you yeah, out I'm there. Yeah, I'm just slap ass and I say, sorry, I have bad personality. The, the come town and now... Adam Friedland show fan base notoriously repulsive, right? No, I think they. I think some of the. I think good guy. There's so much love and. But they. Nation. But let's between you and me. Taft Nation. Yeah. I love you guys. I'm listen. I'm one. I'm He's a one of them. Fan. He was in. He was in Afghanistan listening. To I you. was a. I was a mod he was on the on Reddit. Come town. Yeah, yeah. Subreddit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you need a street team, uh-huh. and you need that street team in every single city to be wheat pasting, missing poster. Missing in Israel, Gaza, Gaza hostage, Adam Friedland. Yeah. Adam Friedland. It's, it's not a bad idea. It's a good idea. I think it would upset my family, but at this point, like, what? What the fuck what is the your fuck family going to do? Gonna do? That's yeah. fleeting, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's they'll, fleeting. They'll, they, love me en- they love me enough to, like, get over that. One day, they'll all be gone. You'll be gone. But you know what'll be here? My your legacy, legacy. My brother. My legacy. Your legacy. Yeah. Another thing you need to do is I think that you need to. Well, I you know I like your girlfriend a lot, so this is tough for me to say. Yeah, Nick's been trying to get me to cheat recently too. To cheat? Yeah. If you cheated, oh my god, I would be so disappointed in you. Yeah, yeah, I can't what, do with, it. What with what? Uh, a dog? Yeah. If I cheat with a dog, that could be the viral incident, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I I do well. It's like you already will kind of have a sex date with Adam Twenty Two's wife. Yeah, yeah. But I think that like there needs to be some kind of like uh-huh. air. I, it's not like a cancellation or something, but you need like a crazy like you need to start dating. Who's that chick who killed her mom or whatever? Got out of prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to start. You don't need to start dating her, but you need to fuck her. Mm-hmm. You need to fuck that little killer lady. Yeah, yeah. She looks like she looks like shit too. She's. Hey girl. You know, she I don't want to say anything because obviously, but. Yeah. You know, she's not, I'm not, but you know, I, I, that's not how I view people anyways. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Another thing you need to do is just make the show better. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's that a good is idea. Like, that that's is a, a good big idea. Thing. I was asking Nick about that the other day. And he we, was just like, we're not doing that? No, he was like, he's not like, he's, I don't know, he says, I have a plan, trust the plan. You know, I, I, I get that. <laughs> Nick is very smart. You uh-huh. know, he's a comedic genius. He is, the man is he's a fucking so institution. He's so smart. Yeah, yeah, he's so, so smart. He's so funny. Yeah. But... You, the the podcast, for instance, yeah, you guys yeah. were doing the lab this. mics. I'm glad to see that the actual microphones have made a return. How's it sound, Pete? Pete says it sounds great. They've got this gnomish producer back there. This yeah, little yeah. wise. This guy's like fucking t- it's four feet tall. But the pod. So what you need to be in here is Adam. When people see you, mm-hmm. you're like a different kind of man. Mm-hmm. Right. I'm built different. You're built different. I got you're that dog in me. Crazy different. <laughs> <laughs> in a way that I don't think people have been built before. Yeah. So you've seen these podcasts like Fresh and Fit, the like the like red pill. This is shit. we were talking about this before the show. I think this is the idea. This is the idea. I think we need girls in bikinis, and I need to be yeah. I need to be yelling at them. You know, I I think you need to be yourself around them, right? Oh, I don't even have to try. You don't have to try. I think I think because all the red pill podcasts follow one formula: is you pay a porn star to come on your show and then you yeah, yell at her for being a porn star yeah. or a prostitute and yeah. you yell at her for being a prostitute yeah yeah what we need to do is we need to get some hookers in here to disrespect me to disrespect you yeah yeah, yeah. exactly yeah because yeah. that's how we turn on alpha podcast yeah what we need is a beta podcast yeah, yeah. 
they'll say to me, they'll be like, you pooped your pants on a podcast. How do you ever expect a woman to be with you? Exactly. Right. And I'll be like, but you don't, you, you do nasty things. And they're like, this isn't about me. This is about you. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah. they're like, we're getting paid more than you. Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. of these women are making You're a lot of money. You're a laughing stock. You're a laughing stock. I have three houses. Yeah. Yeah. How much are you making for this? Exactly. Yeah. And I'll be like, well, the profit split with Nick is I get 5%, 90, he's getting 95. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, but I can bump it up to 10. Stuff. Yeah. But I'm getting the eyes on me. You're you getting know? the eyes. I'm getting the eyes on me. And I think that would be great if you were sitting there in like a tank top or like yeah. some kind of like, like a crop cut thing no i'm thinking mesh where you see my mesh. nipples through yeah, yeah yeah mesh if you were dressed yeah you, you're mesh mm -hmm. and you're sitting there and just like six busty females yeah. are just berating you top one percent only fan we would make you a million dollars a month you think so i absolutely think who's getting yelled at by women these days no one that well, was all of us at home at home at home it was happening for a second yeah. here's the thing 2017, 2018, women were yelling, right? Yeah, Women's March, Slut March, all that kind of stuff. Boo Something changed. Yeah, yeah it's now true. Now everyone's yelling at women again. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable with that. I love women. I'm, well, I'm afraid. I'm actually more just afraid. I'm also afraid Yeah, because they yeah. could say anything. And, and They'd I, be like, oh, he's got a... I wouldn't even call that a dick. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is... This is my worry. This is my worry. Um... But I that I think that we could, we just need to radically change the form of everything that you do in your well, life. You gotta talk but to you're me. not willing to do it. You want to sit here and you want to have some some stand up comedian on here to joke around with. Yeah, you. yeah. How was the weekend? Well, you, you oh you did this the Thursday late got a little exactly. uh, spicy. Where there was a drunk guy. Oh, I love doing I love doing shows. In, People don't in, like that in Milwaukee. Oh, Indianapolis. That's a rough oh, market that's a for rough, me. That's a rough neighborhood to do it in. No one cares. No, they, they you know what your they audience, want whores. Your audience hates and loves you, and they mm -hmm. love I think they beautiful love I think prostitutes. They, they love. Uh, well, I love girls too. I love them. They're so beautiful, guys. Irvine, California, next weekend, Friday, Saturday, last minute shows. There are about twenty five tickets sold uh, for all of them in, in general. I think this could be the end of my stand up comedy career, guys. The Improv, Irvine, the nineteenth and twentieth of April. Please come out and see me. Brace, you got anything to plug? Uh, no, I have nothing to plug. Thanks a lot for listening, guys. Nick is back next week. <laughs>